Hello and welcome back. This is part four of the demonstration. Today we'll be going over pulsed operation. Uh, the main components I'm showing right now are the air cord inductor and capacitor hooked in parallel with the light bulb in series. This is the same configuration as before except without the ferrite core. Right here we have the same light bulb stand that we had before, nothing special. And um, I will now continue showing the pulsed operation. What you see in front of you is my pulse width modulation setup. Uh, right here you have your MOSFET and I have two different um, potentiometers right there, one for controlling pulse width and one for controlling frequency. Um, right now I have a preset to the uh, resonant frequency of the tank circuit I showed earlier. Uh, this is hooked up to a 12 volt marine battery. It's quite large so it's on the floor and I'm not going to show it. But uh, you'll see that the operation is very similar to the AC square wave. Here we have the parallel tank circuit being driven by the uh, DC pulse circuit. Uh, as you'll notice, the first light bulb is not extinguished but it's much dimmer than the second one. And uh, right here, those are just the two leads coming off of the pulse width modulator. Um, which is conveniently sitting right in front of it. And the pulse width modulator right now is taking the place of the signal gen that we used earlier. So this is almost the exact same operation as the AC square wave, except there is no AC component. This is pure pulse DC.